when he comes here? What happens when he comes here? Because <coughs> all of those people want to come here. We want to get out, and there's no way. There's no way. Mm-hmm. Right. The bridge helps that way. So look, guys, every every school year, every beginning of school year, my office is literally camped out on 87th Avenue. Camped out. Because every single resident that lives on the other side of 87th, Kia Sensei, make sure that they communicate in our office because of the quagmire. People can't get out of their homes. People can't get out of their homes, okay? And that's where the bridge closed because nobody has a way out. There's no, there's no, there's a lobster trap up here, okay? All the traffic that you're generating here on your own and what comes maybe all the way around to bring kids to their schools here that come around from this Hialeah area, which is not that as many as many people think because that's still a virgin area that's being developed, okay? Oh, yes. not for now. There. But then let's fix the lobster trap Mr. first. Bello, can I ask you a and question? And the, lo the lobster trap councilman is yet to open bridges. You can't keep bridges closed. Well, and I'm committed on the Miami Lake side to help with a park and keep a park at the base of that bridge, even against my better judgment, even against my better judgment, okay? But as far as I'm concerned, I have to look at a bigger picture than not just what goes on here, okay? We have a problem county-wide, county-wide, made by a lot of people way before me that planned communities without ever thinking about these kind of things, and now they're here. Now they're here. But, but that's, what we're, that's what we're asking. I have the ordinances here. Mm -hmm. where the approvals came from the city of Hialeah. And it seems like the only thing the city of Hialeah is getting a pass. We're just going to be able to use our bridges. And mind you, they're not they're not traffic bridges. They were service bridges. But that needs to be clarified. And maybe you want to clarify that with Commissioner, you know, Bebe Diaz, because I think he's a, he misspoke a bit as well. But those bridges were never meant for that. Mm -hmm. Okay? And Hialeah seems to be getting a free pass. They've made the decisions. They continue to make decisions. They continue to build monstrosities. The neighbors are complaining about commercial, commercial industrial traffic. Do they know what's, go what's going on back there? Do they know the massive amount of development that's going on back there? No. But you know what? We're going to sacrifice <coughs> Who doesn't for that. know? I'm sorry. Who doesn't know? The residents of Hialeah. They don't know. You heard Ron um, Erica say they're making phone calls to the city of Hialeah. And who's responding to them? No one. Can't speak for the okay, city but of the county, and I know, don't speak for the city I, and of I get it, but the county at this point does have to look at the city of Hialeah. You shouldn't try to resolve this issue simply on the backs of the Miami neighbors. You know we can't. Well, get first out of all, I, I, look, I think I resent that comment of back of Miami neighbors. Okay? okay, go ahead. Okay, look, I'm in the business of trying to solve the issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, and like I said, mm -hmm. I can come here and not say a word to you. Mm -hmm. All right, we have committed today to reach out to the mayor of the town. Okay, to have a sunshine meeting with the mayor of Hialeah. Okay, so we could have everybody sit at the table and try to figure this thing out, all right? But I have said on repeated occasions, I've been consistent on this item over and over and over again, okay? Bridges to be built that are just going to sit there for the sake of sit sitting there when we have a quagmire situation, okay? Because I'm out here. I'm out here with the traffic, okay? And it is a problem, all right? And we could just ignore it, just leave it alone, and it's still not going to go away. It Miami won't Lake go away. Been ignored for a long time. Why? So, that's not right. That's so, not so right. So one question. Ask, 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 ask your elected officials. Ask your elected officials if the county does not cooperate with Miami Lakes continuously. Well, continuously. So that's so factually so wrong. What you're saying. Question. It's factually wrong. Okay. What you're saying. Commissioner. Factually wrong. Well, commissioner. There's commissioner. One, one, question. Just, one, one question. Why? Why don't we have either a roundabout or an access to I-75 now? just mm -hmm. to create an exit for them, an exit for us, until we can see the other planning, until we can envision what it is, until they have police, until they have fire. Why can't we all just go to I-75, find a solution for us to get out, for them to get out, and then in time, do things? Because if they had an accident and a truck hit someone, and all of a sudden the traffic comes over here and we are the ones that suffer an accident, who's gonna respond for that? And then all of us are gonna really be upset with here, and there and everywhere. So protect us. 
We know that, and we know that you need to protect them. But get, give us a way out. I seventy five would be a logical solution. If they have access there, they can get anywhere they want to go. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. 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 that's, that's an F dot. That would be an F dot thing. That I, I will write. I will write you F dot. Get me the name. Considering they took two lanes on the Palmetto, why don't we pressure F dot there? Yeah. That's an no hay espacio, no hay dinero, no hay, no hay, no hay. Help them and help our community as well. Y de esa manera, el nuevo respite por la I-75 puede ir al Palmetto. That's something that we can partner on. And that's a regional solution that helps that side, that helps this side. And that's the type of work that we need to start doing. That's the type of work we need to start doing. Bravo!